We're back today to learn part two of our two digit addition strategies. In part one, we practiced adding by using drawings. Today's strategy has no drawings in it. Today's strategy is called the show all totals strategy. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We will show all the totals, the totals of the tens and the totals of the ones. This strategy should be quite a bit faster than the first strategy. So let's take a look and get started. Here's our first example, 37 plus 21. Now, like I said, we will not be doing any drawings for this strategy. In this strategy, we are first going to look in the tens column. In the tens, we have seven plus one. Now, second grade, what does seven plus one give us? It gives us eight, doesn't it? So in the first row here that you see, we're going to put an eight. Now, the next step is to move on to the tens. Now the tens are going to go under the ones when we add. Now here's the tricky part, second grade. In the tens place, we don't have three plus two. We have 30 plus 20. Now that's a little tricky. We need to remember that it's not just three plus two equals five. We need to think of it as 30 plus 20. And what does 30 plus 20 give me second grade? It gives me 50. Now I did my ones and I did my tens. The last step is to add them both together. Eight plus zero, that gives me eight. And here I just have a five, I have nothing to add, so I can just pull the five down. 37 plus 21 gives me 58. I first look at the ones column, then I look at the tens column, and then I add up to find my total. Let's try another problem. 28 plus 56. Just like the first problem, let's start with our ones. Now my ones are the first row under my answer line. I have eight plus six more. Hmm, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, this is a two digit number, so watch what I do. I write 14 right under my numbers. Now, let's go over to the tens column. The tens go underneath. Notice I'm using my highlighters to help me color code. You can do this as well if this is helpful for you. Two plus five or five plus two. But is it really five plus two second grade? No, it's 20 plus 50 or 50 plus 20. Hmm, if I know five, six, seven, then I must know that 50 and 20 give me 70. Now I've added the ones, I've added the tens, and I add them up together, up and down. Four plus zero gives me four, and one plus seven gives me eight. So my answer here is 84. I started with the ones, then I moved to the tens, and I wrote them right on top of each other. Here's our third example. In this example, I'm not going to use the highlighter, but what I'm going to do is draw a line between my ones and my tens. 
If you do not have highlighters or crayons at home, this might be a better strategy for you. You don't need them to do these problems. Something else you might want to do is draw two rectangles underneath for the ones place and the tens place. Let's see what we have. Two plus seven or seven plus two. Seven, eight, nine. So I have nine in the ones place. Now we come down to the tens place. Sixty plus thirty. Hmm. So I have six, seven, eight, nine. If six and three is nine, then sixty and thirty is 90. Let's add them up. 9 plus 0 gives me 9. And I have 9 here, but nothing at the top. So I get 9. 99 is my answer. One more to get me up to 100. Even without using my highlighter, I started adding with my ones. Then I went next door and I added up my tens. Let's do one more practice problem together. I'm going to draw my line to separate my ones and my tens. I always start with the ones. Eight plus three. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I put the eleven under my equation. Next, I go next door to the tens place. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, if five and four is nine, then 50 and 40 is 90. Don't forget, those are in the tens place. It's not just nine, it's 90. Let's add them up. One plus zero is one and one plus nine is ten so my total is one hundred one I made a new hundred in this problem now second grade just as a reminder this is just one strategy that you may choose to use you do not have to use this strategy every single time in our next lesson, we're going to practice the quickest way and probably the way that most of your grown-ups at home will remember learning addition.